Texans need to win to stay in contention with the AFC South. Bradshaw, Blyer, Harris, Stalwart, Swan, and Grossman, they would all get benched in this game. Arian Foster's freeze would come back from injury, and Mike Kruzek would be the Steelers' starting quarterback. We start off with Matt Schaub throwing it to Kevin Walter, and Kevin Walter would get into the end zone for the touchdown. Mike Kruzek, he throws it over the middle to Bell, Theo Bell. He would get two consecutive catches here, and then Kruzek would throw a touchdown to Sidney Thornton on the wheel route. It would be a 7-6 ball game, and Roy Jarella misses the extra point. It's no good at the beginning of the third quarter. Jim Smith, he would get the return. He would get it close to midfield, but he would get tackled. It's a fumble. Ball would be recovered by the Texans, and Matt Schaub would finish that drive off with an Owen Daniels touchdown pass. It's 14-6. Mike Kruzek would give it to Benny Cunningham. Benny Cunningham would get tackled. It's a fumble recovered by Daniel Manning. However, Matt Schaub on the next play, he would get sacked. It would be a fumble. Ball would be recovered by Jack Lambert. And less than four minutes to go in the game. And Benny Cunningham, he makes up for that fumble by catching the touchdown. Last ditch effort. Steelers are unable to get the win. And the Texans win 14-13. Texans still have a chance that they can win next week. 76 Raiders and 2017 Eagles. Philadelphia locked up the NFC East last week, so you're going to see some new faces here today. Nick Foles, Corey Clement, among others. Oakland, however, has plenty to play for. If they're able to win today and New England loses, they'll lock up the second seed in the AFC. As they come out, guns ablaze, and you saw that first pass to Cliff Branch. Here's another one over the middle. Makes a man miss. He will get in the end zone. Quick 7-0 lead for Oakland. Nick Foles in Philadelphia trying to answer as he finds a first pass to Corey Clement out of the backfield. He will get down to about the 30-yard line before he's brought down. And then Nick Foles with pressure in his face finds Torrey Smith in the end zone. Diving catch, tying this one up at 7. Oakland looks to respond as Stabler rolls out of the pocket, finds who else but Branch, who's been open all day around the 40-yard line. He'll get over midfield, which will lead to a man field goal, putting Oakland up 10-7. Eagles looking to respond, Foles in the pocket, has time, finds Torrey Smith, his second diving catch of the day, and then Corey Clement will take this one the rest of the way, gets in the end zone, putting the Eagles up 14-10. Later in this game, Philadelphia up 21-10, Nick Foles over to Brett Selick, and look at this catch going up to get it. Next play, Foles rolling around in the pocket, has room, finds Selick again, he will get into the end zone, putting the Eagles up 28-10. Stabler now back to Fred Belichnikoff, and he says, I got a college award named after me. Look at him go all the way down to about the five-yard line here, putting Oakland in great field position, but they settle for only a field goal, making it 28-13, to and that's your final. And now for the playoff picture. In the AFC, the Steelers, Oakland Raiders, and Patriots have won playoff spots. The Colts need to win or have the Jaguars and Texans lose to win the AFC South. Jets and Jaguars, if they win, they're in. With the Chiefs and the Broncos, one of those teams is going to win or the Jets and the Jaguars and or the Jaguars need to lose for one of those teams to get in. And for the Texans, if the Colts or Jaguars lose, then the Texans go to the playoffs. In the NFC, the Eagles have locked up home field advantage. If the Panthers win, they win the division. If the Packers win, they win the division. If the Seahawks win, they win the division or have a Rams loss, they win the division. New Orleans wins, they go to the wild card spot. If they if they win and the Panthers lose, they win the division. Vikings, if they win and the Packers lose, they win the division. The Redskins need a Saints or Vikings loss. The Buccaneers need a Saints and Vikings loss and a Redskins loss. And if the Rams win and the Seahawks lose, the Rams win the division. And rest in peace to Nick Bonaconti and Cliff Branch.